We are going to be on YouTube today, so that'll be cool too. So, uh, what I wanted to, rem I'm going to give you guys a couple reminders. I've seen some sportsmanship I haven't been too keen on in the past, and that's not going to happen today. Guess who the ref is? That would be me. And whatever I decide goes. Um, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about remember what's going on here. We're here to have fun, to compete, and to show good sportsmanship. So whenever anybody, you know, gets something right, you're going to be happy for them, even if it means they're winning and they're beating you, okay? Because that's what, the, that's what it's all about right here, seeing who can, um, can get it together and get the, get the, best, get the best score today. But, um, but you know, if, the, if we're different questions, you know, a different team might win. So it's just the way it is. It's gonna be, there's going to be some luck involved and some skill, and we'll see which one, who, who comes out on top. By the way, though, I want to point this out. If I know I talked to some schools a long time ago now, it seems like. I said, guys, at the very least, you're going to end up with this. Two things are going to happen in the book battle. It's, it's You can't lose. You're going to end up with getting smarter. Who feels like they got smarter with this? Had a feeling. And you're going to end up with a candy bar if you get to the admin building. So, boom. I, I, I can always come through when I, uh, when I make a promise. So, you're going to end up with a candy bar at the very least. So, I think at the very end, I'm just going to have people come up and get their candy bar. And at the very end, the last person is going to get up get their candy bar, and get a trophy. But the funny thing about this trophy is I need to give you a little bit of information about this trophy, some trophy care tips. When you carry this trophy, I'd carry it like this because the, the, the boxing gloves are literally Velcroed to the wood here. And so <laughs> you don't want to, you know, like the pictures you see in Sports Illustrated, it's like, you, you know, if you're going to lift it over your head, go like, real careful. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> because... Um, you know, if you get real triumphant about it, it might go flying. So don't want to, don't want to, don't want to overdo it with the, with the trophy. Um, so hold it carefully when you get your picture taken or whatever. It's, gonna, it's a traveling trophy. It'll be with your school. And if we get a tie, there'll be the regular tie breaker that we use. Um, there hasn't been a ton of consistency between schools with how this is going to work. You don't need to know the author. You're going to give me as much of the title as you can. Okay? And you're going to write down. Everybody's going to write down the answer because, like, we're going to start with Brentwood here. If they get it wrong, every one of you, and that show, I'm going to say flip your boards, you're going to show me your whiteboard, and if you have the right answer, you're going to get their point, right? Then it would be team two's turn to go, and even if they got points on the, on the first question, right? So you want to be ready to take someone's answer. I don't need to tell you this, because I'm sure if you got this far, you probably already know, but in the first, the first um, 10 questions, you better, or you're, you'd be wise to guess, because you have a 1 in 19 chance shot. That's about 5%, right? So I would I would be writing something down on every single one, even if I had no clue, because I'll go for the 5% over no percent any time. Now, are we ready? Yes. yes. Anybody have any dying questions? We just get this thing on the road. All right, let's do it. Okay, Brentwood, you are up first. In which book does a person set up a fake profile on a website to get money for camp? In which book does a person set up a fake profile on a website to get money for camp. Nobody yell out the answer. When 30 seconds are up, I will let you know and we'll do the answering then. And obviously you want to be quiet between teams so no one hears your answer. About nine seconds left. Hi, Brentwood, what's your answer? That is correct. One point for you guys. And question two, going to centrals. Question two, in which book do children collect shrapnel from bombs? In which book do children collect shrapnel from bombs? I'm going to try to repeat the question twice. If anybody needs it again, let me know. In which book do children collect shrapnel from bombs? Ten seconds. And time's up. Life at 12. That is correct. Central's got their first point. Parks Creek. In which book does a child learn about an after school art program? In which book does a, a child learn about an after school art program?
Judas five seconds. Five seconds. Judas Eye artist in spot. That is incorrect. Everybody else, flip your boards. Flip your boards. Flip your boards. Flip your board right now. Don't. Give nothing. Give nothing. Operation Frog Effect. We don't have anything. Operation Frog Effect is correct. So you guys just grab that answer. That's Guilford, right? All right. Guilford, you get the next question as well. In which book does a girl think her dad wants her to be perfect? In which book does a girl think her dad wants her to be perfect? Stargazing. Don't yell it out. You gotta wait for your time. That is correct. So you need to hold it off. So wait till I say time and then give me give the answer. Because you it's just better that way. Because that's why. <laughs> All right. That way everybody has the same amount of time that's going to take the answer. Now, Van Buren, here we go. In which book does racing a desk result in a teacher getting injured? In which book does racing a desk result in a teacher getting injured? Ten seconds. Time. That is correct. Brentwood, you guys are back up. In which book is there a character called the Princess of Pain? In which book is there a character called the Princess of Pain? Ten seconds. Time's up, Brentwood. What's your answer? That is incorrect. Flip your boards, everybody else. Flip them right now. Flip your board. What do you? Everybody, flip your boards. So I can see the. So I can see the right. Don't write now. Don't, uh, uh. You're not writing now. We don't. Flip your board. We know we're gonna say. Uh, I, you gotta have it on your board. I explained that. So if you have nothing on your board, what is? What do you guys? I said when I say flip your board, I mean flip your board. What's it? So what do you guys have? We've got Riverstone. That's it. Correct. What do you guys have? The, we were gonna write the day the university. Well, that's what. It's what you have on your board. Missing at school. Uh, nobody got that right. It is bouncing back. So no one got that. <laughs> Question number seven is going to Central. Get ready. In which book does a person live in a place called the Badlands? In which book does a person live in a place called the Badlands? Ten seconds. Central, what's your answer? Madam C.J. Walker builds a business. That is correct. Clark's Creek, you guys are up with number eight. In which book does a puppy think his tail might rip? In which book does a puppy think his tail might rip? Ten seconds. Time and um, Clark Street, what's your answer? The dog who lost its bark. That is correct.
Okay, it's number nine. In which book does a child point out that parents can be exhausting? In which book does a child point out that parents can be exhausting? This is for Gilbert. Ten seconds. Time is up. Guilford, what's your answer? Sure, best of the key. That is incorrect. So everybody flip your board. See what we've got. It is Jada's Sly, Artist of Spy. No one has that, correct? No. All right. Van Buren, number 10. In which book does a cat ride on a dog's back? <coughs> In which book does a cat ride on a dog's back? About five seconds left. We'll slow them up. Time is up. Favorite, what's your answer? That is correct. All right, so we're going into the two-point questions. This is the second half. There's ten more questions, then it's all done. So, Brentwood, you get the first one. In the book, Cat versus Dog, why can the park ranger hear everything the animals say? In the book, Cat versus Dog, why can the park ranger hear everything the animals say? Write it down, everybody. Remember, 10 seconds. Time is up. Brentwood? He's her hawk and her owl. Boom. Owl. You have the word owl in your answer, you're getting two points. Nice job. Um, we have Central here. In the book, The Space We're In. Why did Max get sent home from nursery school? In the book, The Space We're In, why did Max get sent home from nursery school? Ten seconds. Time is up, and Central, what's your answer? You had a meltdown. That is incorrect. Flip your boards, everybody. What do you guys have? Be bad students. Biting. You gotta have biting in your answer. Biting, biting, biting. Okay, everybody's got biting except for Central. All right. <coughs> You can get points fast in this round, and you can, you can, you know, so if you need to catch up, don't feel like you're in trouble. Question three, Clark's Creek. In the book, she dared, who got kicked out of surgery so Bethany could be operated on? In the book, she dared, who got kicked out of surgery so Bethany could be operated on? Ten seconds. Time, Clark Streak. What do you have? Or we were going to say Amelia. Incorrect. Flip your board, everybody else. Flip your board, flip your board, flip your board. You got nothing? Dad is what I need to see. Dad. So I've got two dads. I've got Central, right? Central, who else had dad? Gilbert. All right, Gilford, you guys are up. In the book, Claude, Evil Alien Warlord Cat, where are the worst criminals in the galaxy sent? In the book, Claude, Evil Alien Warlord Cat, where are the worst criminals in the galaxy sent? 
10 seconds. Time, and that is Guilford, right? Go ahead, what's your answer? Ogre and slash earth. Ogre land slash earth. You need to have earth in your answer, that'll work. Okay, Van Buren, you guys ready? Get ready. In the book, Over the Moon, what is the name of the boy who is always trying to ruin Mally? In the book, Over the Moon, what is the name of the boy who is always trying to ruin Mally? <laughs> 10 seconds. All right, Van Buren, what's your answer? No answer. Everybody flip your board. I need to see what, okay, tell me your answer. Okay. What? Chuck. Not Chuck. Good guess, though. Honor. Honor. Uh, is that honor? What is that? Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be honor. Honor. Okay, we've got three in the middle here. Honor, honor, honor. All right. Yes. So if you had honor, you got it. <laughs> Give me a second here. I've got to... So let me double check on this. Central, Clark's Creek, and Guilford all got that, correct? Yes. All right. Now, moving right along to number six. Brett, when you guys are back up, get ready. In the book, The Mistwick School of Music Craft, how does Amelia's letter from Mistwick School come to her? In the book, The Mistwick School of Music Craft, how does Amelia's letter from Mistwick School come to her? Ten seconds. Time. Brentwood, what's your answer? Give me more. <laughs> Give me a little more. You got nothing more? You're like practically there. Okay, not enough. Flip it. I'm, I'm looking for two two words we'll get you here. What do you have? Uh, it's the initial thing of butterfly and it's blue. Keep going. I didn't say whether you got it or not. What do you guys have? The other Amelia died. I'm not telling you whether you got it or not. Has a butterfly. <clears throat> To her treehouse. You had to have either origami or butterfly. You guys had butterfly, right? So, all right, so Guilford got butterfly. And Central got butterfly. Is that correct? All right, things are getting, can you, you can feel, you can feel the stress now. You're getting pretty serious now. now. <laughs> so, get ready. Here we go, down to the final four questions. All right, we've got seven. In the book, The Day the Universe Exploded My Head, which planet is rusty? In the book, The Day the Universe Exploded My Head, which planet is rusty? Ten seconds. Time and center. What's your answer? Mars. That is correct. <laughs> and get ready, Clark's Creek. Here we go. In the book, I Cosmo. Why does Cosmo have difficulty following hand cues? In the book, I Cosmo. Why does Cosmo have difficulty following hand cues? Ten seconds. Mm 
Time. And Cork Shriek, what's your answer? He is older. Give me more. He's older than most dogs. Give me more. Um, his, his eyesight is older. Bingo! Yes. Eyesight. You got to say eyesight or blind. You got it. Whew, that was a close one. <laughs> that was too close. There we go. Um, get ready. We have Guilford up. Get ready, Guilford. In the book, Titanosaur, what does the man who discovers the bone notice about his bone compared to the ones in the museum? In the book, Titanosaur, what does the man who discovers the bone notice about his bone compared to the bones in the museum? Ten seconds. Time. Larger than the other Bingo. Yes. And finally, question 10. Go on to Van Buren, get ready. In the book Lifeboat 12, what would Ken trade his bike for? In the book Lifeboat 12, what would Ken trade his bike for? Ten seconds. Time. Van Buren, what's your answer? Um, we wrote a better mom. That is incorrect. What do you guys have there? Money? Yeah. Nobody gets that one. That is a single glass of water. Remember, you go to my phone. So it's like, Single glass of water. Let me do my tabulations here real quick. While I get things figured out. Point to you guys. Point to whoever you think won, even if it's yourself. We were thinking of some tie. I think it's some Okay, that's that's interesting. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call teams up who didn't win in the last team to get their candy bar, and the last team will get the candy bar and the trophy. So Brentwood, come on up. <laughs> started and then go for it but um and come on up the champs Guilford come on up good job I like I said earlier I think everybody who participated is an awesome winner you read even a few books that's more books than you read before like I mean like for all you guys back in back in Plainfield land uh, it's great. It's great that everybody who participated um, read and got smarter no matter what. So all you fourth graders out there, keep, you know, you got another year at this. And all you fifth graders, thanks for participating and keep on reading because reading is sweet. <laughs> thanks.